Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy and this is the number 55 Chew Review. And as you just saw, it will be of Moore's Red Leaf. But Okay, for guys that aren't in the know, probably not a big deal. For guys in the know, you're going, what the heck is that? And I was the same way when I opened this up, the box that came from Virginia. Adrian is to thank for this video. Adrian was the one that reminded me about Moore's Red Leaf. So when he reminded me, he's like, hey, what about, you know, via email, what about Moore's Red Leaf? Have you done that? Do you need, do you need, I was like, no, send it up. Send it up. I'll do, I'll do a review of that. I, I'd never actually had it, even though I knew what it was, or at least I thought I knew what it was, because this is not what it was. Guys in the know will be scratching their heads right about now because they, like myself, will be like, wait a minute, Moore's Red Leaf is a twist. Rephrasing that closer to the point now, maybe Moore's Red Leaf was a twist because now evidently it's loose leaf. So this is a product of the American Snuff Company, makers of Grizzly, Kodiak. And this, even on their own website, underneath brands, is listed as a twist. Although I have noticed that they have three twists showing. They named three, but they've switched this twist out with a picture of Cumberland Classic. Yet this does not show above in their loose leaves. So I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm really not sure how this came about or why this came about, but this is an up-to-date package of Moore's Red Leaf. The other standout thing about this review is that this will probably be the last three ounce net weight bag of loose leaf because basically everything I have left is in pound bags. Believe me when I say that, because off to my side here is a box and there's five pounds of chew in it. So looking at this packaging, it's a, a pretty standard layout for American Snuff Company. It's got the net weight in the middle, the branding, the warning label. It's the same on the other side, only the other side has a back and forth fold flap this bag being from American Snuff will not have a Ziploc on it. It'll just be a bunch of glue buttons. The product in the bag feels feels great. Feels like it's in good shape. The bag's holding a little bit of air, not too much. So that's all good. On the bottom, you have more branding, barcode, sale only allowed in the United States. American Snuff Company of Memphis, Tennessee is the manufacturer's information and then the domestic foreign count. It is only 5% domestic tobacco, all right? 95% foreign. Now, not, not that great even for chew, but to tell you the truth, there are a lot of Stoker chews that I love that have less domestic. So, it's, it's a plain Jane sort of simplistic bag design-wise, but I sort of dig it. I, I sort of like it. Now, what they mean by red leaf, I sort of had a, an idea in my mind what that would translate to in a twist, but loose leaf, I, I have no idea. So let's, let's open it up. So you have just a fold over, and there's a very slight fold back. So it's like folded over twice this way, and there's, there's a tail going in on the other end. I'm going to open this up carefully because I want to save the bag. I save all the bags, but, wow, they just got the fold back on this, just. All right, so the bag seems to be a fairly good foil paper. There are going to be a whole bunch of glue dots on this, or glue buttons, however you want to say it. 
Okay, so blue button wise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's usually what it's about with the American Stuff Company products. It's an original chew smell, all right? That's what it's looking like in there. There are some blondish highlights. To tell you the truth, this stuff is looking pretty moist for an American Snuff Company loose leaf. It, it's tacky. Okay, so for guys that haven't seen the other reviews I've done of American Snuff Company loose leaves, uh, Levi Garrett is one, the, the best known. Uh, there's two types of loose leaf for Levi Garrett. You have Morgan's, Taylor's Pride, and peachy so basically when it comes to american snuff company chews they tend to be drier all right and they tend tend to have a lot of secondary stem material nothing really pokey or anything but there's secondary stems like leaf stems in it there's a good amount of them they're usually long and stringy but they tend to be dry that's that's my biggest deal you know the upside of them being dry is that you can, if you're an active chewer, you can, they, they can take a beating chewing wise and not start breaking up into small bits. This is throwing me for a bit of a loop because it's very dark, but there's blonde highlights and it's moist to the point of being tacky, which I've never seen with an American Snuff Company chew before. And I'm not seeing any secondary stems. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some out here. I'm gonna get a little bit light on there. It's shorter cut. It's been soaked with whatever they're using. Um, to the point that I can see translucent bits. It it's really short cut compared to other American Snuff Company products. In fact, I'm gonna have to say this is even shorter than Redman or most stokers. Not as wet as stokers, but still. I'm gonna throw this in and hit the pause button, all right? I have a bunch stick to my finger. Back in a minute. But not hitting the stop button. Okay. Um, it's good. It, it's it's good stuff. And it, it, it as, as far as American Snuff Company chews go, loose leaf chews, it's considerably different. Although it does have a couple things that are the same. One is that's the same is you can actively chew this stuff. That said, because it's a much shorter cut than their normal, you don't have to actively chew it to get it packed down. Basically, you just stick it in your cheek and it does it by itself. All right. But if you wanted to chew this stuff, it, it, it's of a consistency that you could. The flavor is an original. With something slightly different. Now, I can't put my finger on it. I, I, I sat here. The break was actually longer than the usual. But I, I, I can't. I. I I don't know if I can't put a finger on it or if I just can't explain what I think. There's something different. And if there is some different type of leaf, like a, a red Virginia being used, that might be it. But don't hold me to that because I'm not 100% sure. But there is something different. It's an original chew. There's molasses involved, like a straight molasses, raisiny. Not overblown, though. Not to the point, I don't think, of Red Man. It's good. It really is. Um, I'm a little surprised I'm spitting this much because I've gone into heat mode here and I've been pretty dry all day. It, it's, it's interesting that it's a different cut and it there's no stems and it, it, it seems to be more moist than any other loose leaf 
from American Stuff Company. It, it's moister than Levi Garrett, definitely Taylor's and Morgan's too. And it's that peachy I did a week or two ago. It, it's moister than all of them. But the big thing is, in my mind, when did Moore's Red Leaf go from a twist to this? And why isn't the website showing it? Because this bag does have a stamp date code, which has been partially rubbed out, basically. Stamped again by something in process. But this is like dated back to the, you know, beginning early this year. Not a bad date. It's a made-on date, I believe. Not bad for a chew. All right? Not bad at all, actually. As is evident by the moisture content. But, you know, moisture-wise, had it been dry, I wouldn't have really noticed anyway because I was expecting that. But this stuff is a finer cut. I mean, when you saw me take it out, I'll do it again. Let's goof up my hand here, but... Usually, if I take American Snuff Company product out of the bag, all right, it is going to have some very long stringy bits, you know, coming down, I don't want to spill it, but, you know, they could be coming down to here. You look at the Peachy video, which well, should be two reviews back on this playlist. This stuff is cut short. Now, the consistency of it, although it is tacky to the touch, which shows a moisture level higher than usual for American Snuff Company, consistency in the mouth, though, although it's shorter and there's no stems, the, the leaf still has a really sturdy feel to it. Like, you could chew on this to your heart's content if you wanted to. But it packs down easy, and that's the only time I ever really chew American Snuff Company products, to get it packed down into my cheek. This just sort of condenses by itself. It's, most people would not notice anything flavor-wise. I'm noticing just because I've reviewed 55 of these things now, but it's an original chew, and that's what most people are going to pick up. But I'm picking up something else, and I'm guessing it's the leaf. And I'm also guessing whatever that leaf is, is the reason why... There's so much foreign tobacco in it. Yes, I did say Red Virginia. When, when I say, like, well, it, it depends. In this case, Red Virginia, I'm talking about a seed variant, which could technically be planted anywhere. I mean, it could be Maui, for all I know, in Africa, you know. But... I, I don't know. It, 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 it's good. It, it's 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 a good product. Uh, I'll have to get in touch with Adrian and find out exactly what this cost, this particular bag cost. Um, I like the simplistic, it's sort of a simplistic, like, 50s-ish design. It's just, that, that, that's our brand stamp, and yeah, we could, we could make it something else a little more modern, but we're not going to. Because we don't care. So. so Moore's Red Leaf is now a loose leaf. And it's all right. It's all right. Uh, as, as far as American Stuff Company loose leafs go, this, 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 is, this is interesting. And it, it's different from their others. All right? It's a shorter cut. Uh, it's more moist. All right? Packs down by itself. But it still has the same leaf consistency which gives you the idea you could chew on it. And after this video is over, I very well may. If it turns out to be anything other than I have just suggested, I'll let you know in the comments section, but I, I don't see that happening. Um, and that's it. This has been the review of Moore's Red Leaf, Loose Leaf Chewing Tobacco from the American Snuff Company. Formally, a twist, but that changed at some point. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and God bless.